Hello friends, our today's topic is organic name reaction and in organic name reaction we are going to discuss the topic Perkin reaction and that will be with the mechanism, that will be with the reaction mechanism, right? So we will learn the topic by each and every point of details, right? As you know, my name is Dr. Kavran Dubal and we are going to start our topic that is nothing but Perkin reactions history. So first we will see the history of Perkin reaction and then we will learn about the reaction, right? So who invented the Perkin reaction? Mr. William Henry Perkin. The lifespan was 1838 to 1907 and he was born in London, England and studied under Hoffman at the Royal College of Chemistry, right? So Henry born in London, England and worked under Hoffman at Royal College of Chemistry. In attempt synthesize, uh, he synthesized quinine in his laboratory, home laboratory in 1856, 1856. Perkin also synthesized some dyes like purple dye and he started a factory to manufacture mow and later dyes including the alizarines. So he started his own factory to produce dyes. And Perkin was the first person to show that organic chemistry was not just a mere intellectual curiosity but could be profitable in terms of business also. Right, which uh, kept, capsulated the discipline into a higher level. In addition, Perkin was an exceptionally talented pianist also. He was very good at piano playing, right? Next, principle of this reaction. The principle is very simple. We have to take aromatic aldehydes and we have to react with aliphatic anhydride aliphatic anhydride, right? Why aliphatic anhydride? Because we need some alpha hydrogen. We need some alpha hydrogen. In presence of sodium or potassium salt, means you are taking the aromatic aldehyde, you are reacting with aliphatic anhydrides in presence of sodium or potassium salt of acetic acid or you can say any other organic acid also. You can take propanoic acid also, etc. Right? Just example here written is acetic acid salt. You can take propionic acid salt, etc. Right? In organic acid, carboxylic acid salt can be taken here and it will result the aromatic aldehydes into the alpha, beta, unsaturated acid formations. Acid formation. So this is the basic principle. Same thing we can we, we can view by the reaction, right? The aldehyde and acetic anhydride reacts with each other in sodium acetate. Uh, it will result into an intermediate and intermediate get hydrolyzed and finally get converted into the synamic acid, right? So conversion of aromatic aldehyde get converted into the synamic acid. So you can see the position near to the carboxylic is alpha position and the next position is beta position. So alpha, beta unsaturated acids can be formed by the help of Perkin reaction, right? That is only about the reaction, but now we will think and we will learn about the mechanism part also, okay? So that was the reaction part. Now we will see about the mechanism part. So how the mechanism mechanism will start? You just have to take acidic anhydride. As we know, acidic anhydride is CH3COO, CO and CH3, right? But here this is CH3 and this is also CH3. For our conveniency, we wrote a hydrogen by bond, right? Actually, this carbon possesses three hydrogen, but we wrote only one because our focus area is only one. Rest two we are not going to touch. So two will stay as it is, right? Now what will happen? 
in presence of sodium acetate or potassium acetate or you can take any of carboxylic acid sodium or potassium salt the electron of the acetate ion will be transferred will be transferred to the hydrogen so hydrogen will lose its electron from here right so what will happen the carbonyl become polar so charge will negative on the oxygen carbon may have positive charge carbon may have positive charge after losing this hydrogen after losing this hydrogen hydrogen will go with the acetate ion we will get a minus acetic acid ch3 c o o s acetic acid molecule will be removed from here and a double bond formation between the carbonyl carbon and this ch3 carbon will take place actually h is removed so what should be here that is ch2 so here not written but you have to understand the double bond shows the presence of ch2 presence of ch2 right so finally we get this compound right now we have aromatic aldehyde it may be any of aromatic aldehyde but our focus area is what nothing but the carbonyl right so electron will shift towards the oxygen due to the higher negativity right so carbon may have positive charge and out of this bond this electron will shift towards the carbon so this carbon may have positive charge this may have negative charge electron will be transferred to this carbonyl positive carbon right so what will happen finally we will get the connection of this carbon to this carbon and oxygen may have negative charge right so the oxygen of aromatic aldehyde see i am uh, denoting it by different different color you can see the aryl group yellow color is here right now i am taking the next carbon this carbon this is here now the oxygen i am denoting by pink color which is here right and the connection between this red carbon and then uh, this carbon is going to be happen right the bond becomes single why because the bond is broken and electron transferred to the carbon negative carbon negative carbon connected to the this is this one right the carbon which is here is this one connected to the oxygen with single bond but here now the electron is shared for the formation of covalent bond so a formation of double bond is here formation of double bond is here now the oxygen which is here that is here right and the carbonyl with methyl that is here right so by this electron transfers we will get this intermediate now the intramolecular transfer si transfer will be there transfer is what this group will move to the this oxygen how the oxygen get negative charge by getting electron from the double bond so now the carbon and oxygen will have single bond and the oxygen possess negative charge this is this one right and the oxygen donated electron to this carbonyl carbon so formation of a bond here formation of a new bond over here right so that is very clear to everyone now see the electron will be shifted towards the oxygen so bond will break this bond will break and we will get the electron transferred to the carbon positive why the electron transferred here so this carbon become positive positive negative always create double bond right so how this is happening that we are going to see the next slide the same structure i drawn in the next slide you can see the same structure but shifting of electron creates co ch3 well sorry some interruption okay yes so now the electron shifted here creates what it is creating a double bond right so i am drawing the, this bond will be double bond which is here which is here connected to oxygen which is here this bond broken so no place right but this oxygen creates a double bond with this carbonyl how the electron will transfer here so it become negative which you can see here right and the positive carbon will form a double bond with the oxygen this is here 
right? So by this way, it can create a double bond and this structure will be generated, right? Now we have to take another molecule of acetic anhydride. The electron on the oxygen will be donated to the carbonyl, donated to the carbonyl, right? So carbonyl become polar and the electron will shift it towards the oxygen. So it will leave its position and carbonyl will join with the oxygen. Same structure you can see rest of the part as it is, but the oxygen now connected to the carbonyl. This oxygen, see I am denoting by a red round. So same oxygen now connected to the uh, carbonyl, which is I denoted by the yellow round. Right, so CO is here, and it is only already connected to methyl that is here. Right, so now you have this structure. Now you are introducing OH minus two dead from your solution. So it will do what? It will take the proton by donating electron. It will take the proton by the donating of electron. Right, so H will come with the OH, and this electron will be shifted towards the oxygen right so now after getting the electron the carbon may have negative charge electron transfer to the carbon so it may have negative charge the hydrogen may have positive charge which goes with the OH. this negative charge and the electron donated to the oxygen so this carbon may have positive charge so between this positive and negative a covalent bond formation will be there and this molecule after getting the electron will be removed from the molecule right so we wrote double bond we wrote double bond why because the positive and negative charge always create the covalent bond so we will get this structure now same structure i'm going to write in the next slide you can see yes so same structure is here right and now we are going to add a molecule of water hydrolysis right hydrolysis of anhydride will result into the OH minus addition over here because carbonyl carbon will become positive and oxygen will get negative by getting the electron right so it will connect with the H plus by donating the electron and this electron will be donated to carbonyl carbon so finally the formation of acid will be there Finally, the formation of acid, as we know from the lower standard, anhydride get hydrolyzed, converting to the acid. So, formation of synergic acid will be there, right? So, this this type of this type of mechanism is related to Purkin reaction, and this reaction converts aromatic aldehyde into synergic acid, which is an alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid. So this is the mechanism part. Now next application part, we are going to see the first application. We have a structure called furfural. Furfural, right? Furfural, if reacts with acidic anhydride and sodium acetate, definitely undergoes the Perkin reaction and we will get alpha beta unsaturated acid. Next example, we have Aromatic aldehyde, benzaldehyde, if reacts with the same reagent of Perkin reaction, will convert into the synamic acid, right? Next example, orthohydroxy benzaldehyde, that is called salicylaldehyde. If reacts with sodium acetate and uh, acidic anhydride, definitely will undergo the Perkin reaction, but the product which we found by Perkin reaction is not stable. Right, it, it will get tautomerized and get cyclized, and we will get the cyclized final product as coumarine. So, in the production of coumarine, we can use the Perkin reaction. That is all about the Perkin reaction. Thank you very much for listening to me patiently.